the saguaro cactus, the iconic shape in the landscape of Wild West movies and in the background of desert cartoons, comes with a fascinating story. It grows only in one place in the world, the Sonoran Desert in the southwest United States and northwest Mexico, a habitat of wide temperature fluctuations and unpredictable rainfall. It's a good reminder of an idea so important to mindfulness, impermanence, that is that everything is changing in our minds, our bodies and the world around us. Like majestic giants with arms uplifted and skyward gaze, the saguaro cacti stands silently in the sandy soil, the sun baking them by day and the cool air chilling them by night. Objects to behold in awe and wonder, but something to ponder as well. How do they achieve such a stature under the punishing and wildly fluctuating desert conditions? For such a mammoth plant, the cactus has a slow start. A saguaro seedling grows only one to two inches tall in the first eight years of its life, whereas the mature cactus can attain a height of 50 feet and live for 150 or more years. For much of that time it stands as a solitary sentinel, only growing its first arm at age 50, but sometimes not until age 100. The cactus has a spine-covered pleat-like structure to its body and arms, resembling an accordion which can expand, allowing it to store water from a heavy rain, absorbed by an extensive network of roots radiating out from its base several inches below the ground. This capacity to store tons of water gives the cactus survival advantage during extensive periods of drought. And so, as the saguaro lives on, so do other animals live on the saguaro. A Gila woodpecker may excavate a nest cavity into the cactus, and a screech owl take up residence inside when the woodpecker vacates it. A red-tailed hawk may build a hunting or nesting platform in its arms, and a raven may take over if abandoned. In late April through June every year, beginning around age 35, Creamy white flowers are produced daily at its very top or at the tip of its arm or arms. Because each flower opens after sunset and permanently closes by mid-afternoon, it has less than 24 hours to be pollinated and become a fruit. A variety of animals contribute, bees and birds by day and bats by night. The fruit that results is bright red, sweet, and provides a welcome source of moisture and energy during summer scarcity. The saguaro fruits are favoured by coyotes and cactus wrens, who eat them and distribute saguaro seeds throughout the region. Each fruit contains 2,000 seeds, but drought, hungry animals and freezing conditions limit the number that germinate and survive. The ones that do so usually begin under an old nurse tree commonly an ironwood or mesquite, which both shelters and camouflages it until it can become established. Ironically, once established, the saguaro outcompetes the nurse tree for water and nutrients, and the tree often dies. But through the harshest conditions, year after year, the saguaro cactus lives on. Its life cycle and reproduction intertwines with the life cycles of many desert plants and animals. These mutually beneficial relationships remind us of the many ways our changing lives weave together with the lives of others.